Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will guide you through the process of accessing and registering on the CBSC LOC portal. Whether you are a school administrator or someone involved in the administrative side of education, this video will help you understand how to get it done efficiently. This is an essential step for schools to submit the list of candidates for CBSE exam. Let's get started. First, open your web browser and type CBSE into the search bar. Click on the first link that appears to access the official CBSE website. Once you are on the CBSE homepage, look for the section with multiple boxes or tabs. Click on Pariksha Sangam. This will take you to a page with several options. In the Pariksha Sangam section, find and select the Pre-Exam Activities tab. Here you will see various options where the active ones are highlighted in green and the inactive ones are marked in red. Before we dive into the LOC portal, remember that both the LOC and HPE portal need to be completed by all schools. We will cover the HPE portal in another video, so make sure to stay tuned for that. To access the LOC portal, click on the LOC class 10 R 12 tab. This will redirect you to your LOC dashboard. On the LOC dashboard, you will see two menu options. Select the first option label register school. You will then be prompted to enter your login credentials. Use your school affiliation number as the username and your OSC's password as the password. Make sure to enter the security pin carefully. After logging in, the registration window will appear. Here you will need to fill in details about your school such as whether it's urban or rural, summer bound or winter bound and the principal's name and contact number. Ensure that all the information is entered accurately. It's important to double check everything before you proceed. Once all the details are filled out, click the register button to complete the process. Your school will now be successfully registered. After completing your registration, click on the second option, Login. This will take you to the login window. Please make sure you are performing this process on the PC or laptop for the best experience. It's advisable to avoid using a mobile device for submitting the LOC. Enter your login credential here. Use your school affiliation number as the username and your school OSS password as the password. Carefully enter the security pin displayed on the screen. After filling in your credentials and security pin, click the login button. Once logged in, you will be directed to your school's LOC dashboard. On the right hand side, you will see your school's name displayed. The LOC dashboard consists of several important menus, LOC 10 or 12, finalize, payment and reports. Each of these sections will guide you through different steps of the LOC submission process. Let's see one by one. First, click on the LOC 10 or 12 tab. This is where you will start. Here you can generate the previous year's LOC checklist for class 11 and class 9. Select the appropriate class and click the go button. You will now see the checklist of students for the selected class. Use the Ctrl plus P command to either print the checklist or save it for verification. After verifying the checklist, you can proceed with modifying student details are adding new students. Let's break it down. First, modify student details. To update student information, click on the add or modify option for the appropriate class. In this window, you will see three options. Locate student. Enter the student serial number from the LOC to find their record. 
the modification form will appear allowing you to make corrections. After updating the details, click the update record button. Add new student. If you need to add a newly joined student and have received approval from your regional office, click the add new record button. Fill in the student's credentials and submit the form. The new students will then be added to your school's list. Add student within CBSC. To add a student already listed in the previous school's LOC, enter the student's 13-digit registration number from the previous school LOC. Make sure to enter only members Make sure to enter only numbers, no slashes. Then verify the student's record and add a student. Delete a student. If any students from class 10 or class 12 have left your school, use the delete option. Enter the student serial number. Click find and confirm that you have selected the correct student. Then proceed to remove them from your LOC. Upload or update photos. All schools must update student photos. To do this, select the upload or update option, update photo option. All schools must update student photos. To do this, select the upload or update photo option. Choose the appropriate class and click upload. Select the student's photo from your folder and upload it. Verify, the verify that the photo has been correctly uploaded by checking the preview on the right hand side. Editing photo and how to compress photo video is also available in my channel. Kindly go through the photo updating. Generate final LOC checklist. Once you have completed all updates, Generate the final LOC checklist by selecting the Generate final LOC checklist option. Follow the same process as in step 1 to save or print the updated checklist. Final verification. After completing all the steps, verify all details with the students and obtain signatures from their parents. Once everything is confirmed and accurate, you are ready to move on to the next step. Next step is finalize data. Once you have thoroughly verified all students' details, go to the finalize menu. This step is critical. Once you finalize the data, you cannot make any further changes. CBSC strictly prohibits any modi modifications after this point. CBSC strictly prohibits any modifications after this point. So, make sure to double check all information two or three times before finalizing. Next is payment. After finalizing the data, proceed to the payment option to pay the examination fees for the students. Click on make payment and follow the instructions to complete the transaction. You can check your payment status using the pay status options to ensure that the fees have been processed correctly. Last step is generate final report. We are now in the last stage of the process. Once the payment status is confirmed, go to the reports menu. Here you can generate the final list for each class. Save a copy of the LOC and print it out. Ensure you get signatures from both students and their parents on the printed LOC. This step is important for verification and record keeping. And that's it. You have now completed the CBSC LOC submission process. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and good luck with your submissions.